Hi, everyone. I'm here at Culver's Greenhouse with Bob and Joan. Gardens are doing well for us here, and a lot of folks are curious, what, what can we uh, pick? What can we do out there to help keep yeah. things going? Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's time to, you know, take and get all of the fruits of the hard labor right here. So we thought we would just talk about things to check, things to look for, sizing, and those kind of things. First of all, onions, mm -hmm. first of August to yes. pick. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we'll wait till the first of August. Now, that doesn't mean you can't go out and pull one here and there and use it. Yes. But to uh, get a mature one that you might ha have some keeping uh, capabilities with, first of August. Yep. Okay. How about green beans and peas? Green beans and peas check daily. Yeah. Don't go out there once or twice a week because you're going to miss miss the opera yeah <laughs> and plus they get hard and woody yeah but so go out harvest uh daily same thing with cucumbers um and zucchini this is <laughs> one of my biggest pet peeves is people picking stuff when it's out of but it's, it's, it's it goes too large. long it's, yeah. too large yeah so keep them small typically you want six inches for both of them for yeah. both of them okay. you know you can again to pickles you can uh pick when they're smaller but uh the zucchini, if it's if it's longer than six inches, it's going to not be good. Yeah. You know, it's just it's reached its prime, starting to make seeds. Bigger yeah. doesn't mean better flavor. It yeah. does the not. The world's largest competitions at all these fairs does not apply to zucchini right. when you put it yeah. on your plate. You want it to be smaller. Right. Yeah, and of course, then um, now with tomatoes. Okay, we know people are tomato crazy. It's probably still not time, you know. Um, hang on to those tomatoes. They're going to ripen on the vine a whole lot nicer than they will sitting on the windowsill. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, of course, we talk about time to replant. It's time for fall products, right? Sure. Fall crops. So you could be seeding broccoli, uh, cauliflower, colorabi, uh, Brussels sprouts. That's a direct seed mm -hmm. right into the ground. Okay. You can get away with that this time of year. What about, and if we're noticing maybe a, a fungus or something on our vegetables right now, any diseases, what should we do? So, yeah, especially with like uh, things like cucumbers and pumpkins and squash. Mm -hmm. You'll get some leaf uh, uh, mildew on there, mm -hmm. which kind of shows up as a powdery substance on the leaves. So a couple things to uh, for prevention. Lots of air movement. Okay. Keep the foliage dry. If you're watering, water only in the morning. And again, underneath the foliage, water mm -hmm. under the foliage. And if you get, a, if you do develop a pretty heavy infestation of a fungus, go to Dacanel. It's a fungicide. Okay. Works pretty good. And right. safe for food. Safe right. for harvest. Yeah. Make sure you're watching those labels again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, if you have questions about that or anything else that you heard about here today, head over to Culver's. Bob and Joan will be happy to help you out.